Hello and welcome. I am Kara and today we have something that I've never done before. A painting slash voiceover book talk thing. Um, <laughs> if you have been following me for a little bit, you know that my name used to be Clefairy Creations, but I felt that it didn't quite fit everything I wanted to do on this channel. So since then it's art, crafts, and books and I don't know, I just, I've been reading a lot of books recently and I feel like that I could maybe just talk about them. So definitely a spoiler alert if you have not read Fourth Wing, we are going to talk about it today. And yeah, that's, that's about it. So <laughs> overall, my rating of the book is a 4.5 out of 5. And I know normally you don't, I don't know, people don't do 0.5s, but I do 0.5s. I thought it was good. It was very entertaining. A couple of things I didn't love, but you know, it's, it was, it fulfilled the entertainment that it, like, I wanted it to fulfill, right? So first things first, writing style versus storytelling. Okay, and I just, as a disclaimer, am going to probably get the names of these characters wrong. I don't know. I read it in my head. I didn't do an audiobook and don't really care. To, I don't know. Like, it's not that I don't care to look it up. It's just, if I'm mispronouncing them wrong, tell me in the chat. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so the writing style was a little off-putting at the beginning for me. I'm not going to lie. But the more I read through the book, I was like, okay, it's not my personal favorite, but I get why it works for this book. So examples include at the beginning where Violet and Mira were just casually talking about having relationships with the other writers and maybe when she's fixing to die, cause you know, she has to like cost the parapet at the beginning and she's like maybe this could be like their last conversation it just was really weird that that is what they decided to talk about i get the, i get it setting a tone that's like hey there's probably going to be relationships in this book maybe watch out um or when she also like a second example is when she immediately found dane after the parapet it just kind of like felt a little, a little bit cringe, like the way that her inner monologue was kind of going. So that being said, that was until later in the book. Um, this talk just seemed a little forced to me. Overall, the writing isn't the best I've ever read, <laughs> but with it being the book it is, I also don't think people were reading it for the philosophical input into life. I personally feel Rebecca Yarrow's storytelling was my favorite part of the whole book. The way that she explicitly made me keep reading to figure out what would happen next was both amazing and maddening because I have normal adult things to do, like go to work. Um, but I personally liked the pacing of the story. I felt that every challenge, quote unquote, was very unique and it fit into the story nicely. Also the slow burn effect was 100%. I, I thought that that did really well in this book. All right, so how likable are these characters? I am not gonna talk about the first character you probably think I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about the best character in the book and I don't even know how to say his name. Tern, Tyrn, Turn. I don't know. Um, but that little, not little, I guess, that giant goofball of a dragon was my favorite character of the entire book. A little bit of sarcasm here, a little bit of sarcasm there. <laughs> Should I get the wing leader? You know, this character is really freaking lovable. Um, and I would probably die in his presence from laughing so hard. Well, probably. Or get torched to death because I was standing too close. Either one. Not surprisingly, Dane was my least favorite character in terms of personality for obvious reasons. But even, okay, even above that, actually, this is my actual least favorite character was whatever that girl's name that was just absolutely ragging on everyone during presentation. I don't even remember her name because, oh my gosh, she was so annoying. Um, I'm really happy the dragons also thought so. So there you go. Um, the character that's too good for this book, and I don't, again, have no idea how to say this name, Ryanon? Ryanon? I don't know. But she is too good for the noobs in Fourth Wing. Um, her characterization is amazing from start to finish, and I do think if Dylan had survived, all three of them would have kicked butt, 
but you know, gotta kill someone off for the good of the story. Liam, Sawyer, and Riddick are all fairly characterized, but not focused on as much until the end. Um, when, you know, everything happened with Liam, and I, if you read, you know, again, spoiler alert, if you haven't read this book or haven't finished it, um, yeah, Liam, I legit grieved for, like, three days. That was actually really, really sad. Um, but this leaves us with the two characters, Violet herself and Zayden. I thought their chemistry was really well written. I also liked how it was portrayed that she was not helpless without him. Like, it was kind of 50-50 for me, but I mean, she they did write her in somewhat of a strong role in that perspective. Um, overall, I think the relationship is really fun to read and, you know, I like the part of the whole book. Um, I'm not including Iron Flame in this, so just keep that in mind. Um, that's a full other rant for another video. That being said, this might be controversial, but it's my favorite part of the book, Violet's use of poisons. That was the most personality from Violet we see in this entire book, I feel like. And I wanted so much more details when it came to her using poisons. I, I wish that that was just part of her. Now, I wish it was introduced and then kept throughout the entirety of the book. I know it's a little bit impractical for like, you know, normal going out there and being in war probably, but I really wish that <laughs> there could have been something extra there. Cause that was really my favorite part of her character. Um, but again, I get why it wasn't harped on afterwards, but, um, and you know, I really thought it was even cooler than her bonding to two different dragons, just being honest. Like Violet is a great character and Yaros is keeping true to these characters being in their early 20s, still figuring everything out. So getting true uniqueness and intelligence from Violet was really exciting to me. Overall, what did you think of the book? You heard my overall reading for it and some reasons why it maybe didn't get a five out of five. Again, this isn't supposed to be a book that is going into your philosophical self and trying to understand the world around you. No, this is just pure entertainment, right? So. Thinking of it like that, how did you like the book? <laughs> um, and if you want to hear more of these book talk slash painting videos, let me know in the comments and let me know what you're reading right now. I'm actually currently reading Cloud Cuckoo Land. Um, I am, I'm, I'm at part two of Iron Flame. It is so hard right now for me to get through. I'm not going to lie. I might DNF it. Sorry. <laughs> um, loved Fourth Wing though. Great book. Um, but yeah, so those are the two I'm currently reading. Up next, I have Divine Rivals, The Odyssey, and The Iliad that I've been wanting to read for a while. I just got a little bit busy with other things, but um, yeah. So let me know what you want to see. I hope that everyone has a fantastic rest of their day. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will have a video for you guys next week. Bye!